thing's gotta go. <laughs> Yes, the fire guy should be handling the gas. That makes sense. Hey Josh, of the $10 in gas that you put in, how much do you think will actually find its way? A third of it. So there's probably seven, seven, seven twenty-five gas left in there. I was gonna say, uh, when we filled up the tank, you literally drove... Like two miles? No, but you drove again. Yeah, but I, then I revved a lot. Yeah. And then Ricky got upset. Not Ricky. <laughs> what happened? All right. So. Ooh. Oh, that went like inside of my glasses somehow. <laughs> These lines right here. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. These two lines right here. Wait, you see my arm? Yeah. These two. You want to snip the rubber part, which is over here. Oh, back. So you want to come out to the side okay, and snip those two. Yeah. Don't do this at home. This is very flammable. <laughs> I think you can hear me breathing. <laughs> I need to, here, you know what? I might, I'm gonna leave that there for a second. <laughs> well, the, so he's stuck. The gas tank's on top of him. Oh, Get him back. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Look at how far that pulled up my screen. <laughs> All right, gas tank is unbolted. Dude, we did it, Ben. We did it. Oh! <laughs> now we need to take the fuel pump off it? Uh, no, it'll come out with the gas tank. No, I meant like... We, are we, are we keeping the, the gas tank itself? The fuel, the fuel line's gonna get disconnected. Yeah. You got a pair of snips? It was like, oh wait, shoot. Fuel injection needs more fuel pressure. So where are we gonna get that fuel pressure? The easiest, fastest, cheapest way. And we get it from... <laughs> I'll just pry it up, I think. Oh, you just gotta get that ring. Oh, yeah, you get the ring out. You're good. You cracked. We're almost there, just a little bit more. Hey, we up to There you go. Don't shift it back on there. There we are. So now, so then, uh, we, can, we can take this and yeah. spin it around. I just did this the other day on my uh, comment. Oh, cool! Wow, look at that. But yeah, here's our fuel pump right there. The the one thing that we'll probably have to do is when we put this in a gas tank, we're gonna have to jump. <laughs> All right. The next step in our. Uh journey here is to take the rear end out of this car for the build for the Falcon and Josh has got the vehicle up in the air so the next step is to start undoing old rusty bolts Smacked it a couple times the jack stands were only on half they're angled so I hit it a few times I hammer level we should just slowly move this fire pit back and just melt all the ice on my driveway 
Is everything charged up, ready to go? Probably not. Absolutely not. <laughs> when I strain like that, all of a sudden I can feel more turds. Oh. Too much information. No. I'm getting there, though. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Are we trying to take the tires off? Yeah. They're on that tight? It's Ricky's nickname. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. With oil? With gas. With gas. We're cooking with gas, baby. We're cooking with gas. Oh, there it is. Daddy. What? I believe in you. I gotta get this one for Yeah, we're good. That's how you know we're a good shot. We put our tools away as we're done using them. Sometimes. Oh, that makes too much sense. Yeah, it's... I wish I would be in that car any longer than I am. No. No, the car's unlocked. Ah, something dripped on me. <laughs> I think it was snow. Yep. Ricky, I think where they got him on that one was, you're not supposed to aim the gun at the person. Just yeah. in case. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Oh, come here. No. Waiting for it to pop. Thanks for watching. That pussy like a real. Hey, if you, it's, it's threaded. You could probably push it or just do it this way, but. It's because the shock still has tension on it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, because th this one's coming out crooked now. Not so all the basically, way. the shock is holding the tension on the springs. So right now, when we pop out these shocks, the suspension goes boom! Drops really far. So, only a little scary. Josh, let me see that hammer. Stay away. I don't think it's loose enough yet. I got to turn it here. Let's turn it here. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. If we were nice, we'd get I'm a little scared. Me too. So we'll get it. But I think we'll get it. Let's put it in. Put it in. Line it up. Here, wait. Let me get the here. Hold on. To make it slightly safer, take the tire iron and put it through it from the bottom, so the tire iron will catch it. Here, wait. wait. Work it in from the back. Here you go. Double it up. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Here, here, watch out. Watch oh, out. Careful. Yeah. Heads up. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, take two. It's gonna burn my ass. Oh, great. Take you gotta three. hit it. Did you get it? I think it did. Oh, but I got so much smoke in my mouth and eyes. Oh, it's barely holding on. Here, one more throw. You got it, Ricky? Uh, I should be safe right here, right? Maybe. Are we gonna melt that down? No, I mean, but think about that was easier than having to do all the sparks and stuff. We can melt that down and have someone make something. There is gas down there too. Yeah. Let's just she gone. That's number one. Ah! 
Can you break it again? Yeah, pop it out. Why don't we just switch to another nut right now? Let's see what happens. Apparently they tighten this with the force of God. We really need something that doesn't have Wait, a ratchet. It? No, I swear to God, Ricky. No, no, up would be loose. You need a uh, break, a true breaking bar. We have one, but we don't have sockets. It needs to be a thin wall socket. Mm. So we don't have a thin wall socket that works. Are yours bar. thin wall sockets, Ricky? Yeah, but they don't work with that size. Yeah. Don't hit me. Nice job, Ricky! Yeah, now we got four more to go. Man, why are you just throwing shit? Because they're not good. Ready, Ricky? We're holding it. Pull the tire up. Uh, right here. Take this one. I gotta, how can I push that up? Rip. I wonder if it breaks the work. I think so. Yeah, it's not dirt. We're trying to take off this tire and we're like, why the fuck don't the brakes work? Well, come here. Look at this. I, I think I think we found the issue. <laughs> I think that these are supposed to be bolted together. Aren't they? Well, that'll do. What was it? So were we riding around without rear brakes the whole time? Yeah, we didn't have rear brakes. No wonder it stopped like garbage. All right. <laughs> That's wild. You know, they probably did that so that way they could do better burnouts. You know, Get rid of the rear exactly brakes. Exactly why they did it. Taking two of heads off. Oh, we're gonna have to. You might have to throw the throw it at it. Just be careful. That looks like it's the top. Here, you want me to throw it at it? You got it. I don't think it's it's caught on something. Yeah, look, it's did it fall back in the place? Uh, it's like right here. Oh yeah. yeah. Can you do that? Here, put, put, hit that in a little bit. Oh, she got slid out. That's what she said. There you go. That one definitely had a little bit Woo! more potential. Okay, now we're safe. She gone. Number, number, number two. Very awkward angle. Yeah. Get this shot underneath. Josh, uh, do you want to lift this spot again? Ricky, you go lift that spot. Right here? No, over here. Ricky, Over no, here. other side of the car, dog. Jeez. It, it works the same way. It no, no, you have to. No, it, it don't work that way. Why wouldn't it? Because, because you're you're giving why. you're giving that this up. You're lifting no, it the opposite way. It no, it's not. Because it's not. You can drop it. Come on, guys. I gotta try and find a. All right. Um. There. It didn't fall. It was already. Down. Oh, it's it's on the wrench. <laughs> the wrench. Huh? No, it's. It's down. It's just down somewhere. Yank it out. Oh wait, no, there's another. I don't know what that is. <laughs> there you go. Success. Nice job. I feel a real connection here. I feel the pressure. Ooh.
So now we have this uh, chassis from the 95 Mustang to deal with. And our solution to get this thing out of here is to take the 1962 Ford Falcon's rear end and place it underneath this 95 and then we're gonna call a tow place and take it to a junkyard because nobody wants this car. Alright, can I help you? Let's slide this underneath. I'm cold. You may think this is a little bit sketch, but no, no. Uh, oh Jesus. Don't look. <laughs> oh boy. Oh that jack. Good? It depends how you describe good. It's jacket. Is that all this Alright, it's back on four wheel. That didn't work at all. Like mm -hmm. how you it doesn't have to work how you expect it. It just has to work. Stable. Yeah, see? I think that the Falcon was narrower than the... Maybe a, a little bit? Hey, thanks for watching Runner Rust. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you want to see more of Running Rust, all you have to do is subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified through YouTube when new shows come out. And as you can see, I'm sitting in this 1962 Ford Falcon, which by all means is the definition of running rust. Well, not so much running, but definitely rust. So me and the guys have done so much work, mostly the guys, by the way. I'm the video guy. So anyhow, they have tore out everything. And we had that 1995 uh, Mustang, which we tore out the engine. Now that engine actually has been tore apart. And there's an episode coming up all about that. And that engine is now going to be re taken to a shop and it's going to be turned into a 347 stroker engine, which is going to take this very humble 1962 Ford Falcon, which by the way, can you imagine whoever bought this car back then? They had no idea that 60 some years later, this car would be turning into something like this. But anyhow, I wanna tell you how cheap this car was in 1962. It has a really unique feature. Right here on the dash is a delete plate for the radio. So whoever bought this car originally was a true cheapskate. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I think you're gonna love it. Thank you.